So we're going to do something a little weird today. <laughs> so you're hearing me speak through a Royer R101 ribbon mic, and I've got it turned around because the back of Royer's pick up a little bit more of a brighter response. So you're hearing me through the Royer right now, and the only thing I've done to it is EQ it a little bit. I took out a little bit of the lows, and I added just a little bit of some highs, so not, not much. So right now you're just hearing the Royer with a little bit of EQ. Now we're going to make a switch. And now you're hearing the Royer with the Townsend Sphere plug-in. And it's on their um, AKG C12 emulation. Townsend is a company that makes a digital, a digital modeling mic. And it's, it's similar to like the Slate one and what Antelope's doing now. But... The only the big difference between these is that Townsend actually lets you download the software for free because they'll send you files of their mic so you can play around with everything and hear how it sounds. But the Townsend plugin's free, which means we can download it and we can do horrible bad things that they never intended us to do. <laughs> so right now, um what I've done, what I'll do in this video is I'm, I'm doing some songwriting stuff with a few people right now. So I needed to, de to demo out an idea real quick and just send it to them. So I've done, I recorded piano and I've done vocals. So you'll get to hear how it sounds. But these are two um, Octava small caps and we'll make them sound a little different. And I've also got my trusty Vanguard V13 II mic, which is, it's a very flat, Overall, it's a pretty flat sounding mic. Some people would say darker, but it's flatter. <laughs> and it's got a lot of mid range, interesting, like mid range saturation, almost like a, like U67 or something. But we're gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna run that through like probably the, um, the Sony C800 emulation. We're gonna like take it and make it really bright and see what happens. So. We're going to do some horrible bad things today. So yeah, I'm going to switch. We're going to switch to the DAW setup so I can show you how I rooted all this because it's a little funky with the Townsend software. You have to do some stuff to trick it so the plugin works correctly. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so sorry about the noise. I've got, I'm going to stick with the ribbon mic for now and it's set up right by my laptop, which is making some noise with the fan right now. So this is how you're going to have to set up the Sphere audio plugin. So for those of you that don't um, run Pro Tools or just need some help to realize what's going on, this is my main audio track right now that you're hearing. And then I've duplicated that track, and I have the main one faded left and the duplicate faded right. And then we're recording right now, so you're not seeing any input going to this auxiliary track, but... I have these both running to a stereo auxiliary track, so normally that would look like this. But when you apply the Sphere Audio plugin, it actually takes the stereo track down to a mono track. And again, that's because it's picking up from the front of the capsule and the back of the capsule and sending those two signals into the plugin, which then lets you manipulate the polar patterns. So the only other thing that I've done is in your duplicate send, that one needs to be a little quieter than your main one. And the reason being, if it's picking up from behind the capsule, technically that signal is going to be a little quieter because it's picking up the ambiance or what's behind the mic. So you need to turn that down a little bit, make it a little quieter. Otherwise, the Sphere plugin will freak out a little bit and give you a, an error warning. So just fair warning on that. <laughs> and the other thing I did was on your duplicate track, it's a good idea if you're cheating the system like I am and just using one mic to, excuse me, good lord. Um, it's a good idea to have a, a way to flip the phase on that back one. So right now I have the phase flipped on it. And the only reason being when you start messing with the polar patterns, I, I put the C12 emulation on the ribbon, but when I was messing around, it just it sounded better to me when it was in figure eight. And I have a feeling that's because I'm using a figure eight ribbon mic, but 
when you start switching in those figure eight and the omni patterns um you're going to get phase issues if you're sending a duplicate track so make sure you flip the phase on those and it'll be obvious you'll you'll change the phase and all of a sudden it'll sound bigger so don't stress out about that too much just have a way to be able to flip the phase um but yeah i've got it going through the c12 right now got it going in figure eight because it sounded better to me had to flip the phase when i went to figure eight and then it's got some filter options to roll off the low end um some axis stuff where you basically manipulate where you're picking up but if you're cheating the system like we are and using one mic that's not really going to do anything but uh shift your phase proximity will make a difference um if you have your phase set up correctly it it almost sounds like to me you're mani manipulating the low end, which you're probably doing if you're cheating like we are right now with one mic. But if you do decide to not be lazy and set up a second mic pointing the opposite way, that'll probably make a much bigger difference. But yeah, we'll go ahead and change those and see how it sounds. Let's see. On the piano, I ended up going with the AKG 451 emulation. And then my vocal track's hidden right now, but... That Vanguard mic, which is a little flatter, I ended up sending it through the Sony C800 because it's like the most obnoxiously bright mic um, in that mic pack. So we're trying to make it sound different. So yeah, let's see how those sound. It's more than the sum of the little things You send me pretty letters On a tired and broken screen Caught in the context I always made a joke It's one of many reasons You said I love you wouldn't it be nice to fall in love with you? Wouldn't it be nice to fall in love with you? Wouldn't it be nice to fall in love with you? 